some people believe that eco chambers are a way to prevent peace from spreading globally around the world. Others think that it keeps peace, but I think it's both. Have you ever liked stepping out of your comfort zone? You might say yes, you might say no. But me, two years ago, never did I want to leave my happy bubble of safety. My biggest challenge was stepping out of my comfort zone or my eco chamber. There were many obstacles that I didn't want to face, and they're what made me never want to leave my comfort zone. My speech is going to be divided into three main parts. Number one, my fears. Number two, being pushed out of my comfort zone. And number three, my advice to you to face your fears. Let's start with my fears. First, being away from my family. This has always been a struggle for me. Despite knowing it wasn't rational, my comfort zone convinced me that staying safe with my family was the safest option. Number two, I'm a picky eater. My food choices often depend on my mood. Even if I love a dish, if I'm not in the mood for it, I won't eat it. Third, I'm uncomfortable in unfamiliar locations. I do often worry about safety when I'm away from my home in Qatar. Lastly, I fear independence. The thought of not being able to solve an issue on my own can be daunting. Even losing something as mundane as a phone can trigger a wave of fear. These, these fears shaped my comfort zone for a decade, but eventually things changed. Being a gymnast meant that I had to travel for competitions and camps often. While I'm used to it now, I found the experience daunting when I first had to travel alone two years ago. Nightly, I was trapped within my own eco chamber of thoughts, unable to break free. I would wonder, why do I have to go? Many others from gymnastics aren't going. Or, what if I lose something important, like my passport? Or, what if I dislike the food options? These concerns are what convinced me to say no to going multiple times. However, there are many ways that convinced me to escape my eco chamber. My friends and family were so amazing, they told me that I would be safe and I would have such a great time. Eventually, I returned to my eco chamber. However, this time, my thoughts were different. This could be a great experience for me, right? I have all my friends to back me up. I'm sure I'll become a lot more independent. After a while, I finally decided to go for it. I was unsure of my decision, but hopeful. On the day of my departure, I feared a new perspective of the world and being away from my family for the first time. However, I decided to change this view. I knew I was going to be safe. I knew I was going to have a great time. I was confident I had made the right decision. Here's my advice on how to confront and overcome your fears, a process which I have refined through introspection and personal experiences. Number one. Relaxation. The first step is to learn how to relax. Engage in relaxation techniques or visualize yourself in a soothing, tranquil place. This could be a beach, a forest, or even a cozy room. You might also want to try activities that promote relaxation, such as practicing yoga. I found that these activities help put me in a peaceful mood, making me feel more ready to face my fears. Number two, deep thinking. Once you're in a calm state, Give yourself some time for deep thinking. This is a process where you allow yourself to think about your feelings. Delve into your feelings of worry and fear. It's only by understanding these feelings will you be able to understand the fear that's causing them. Number three, talk about it. After you've understood your fear, it's time to talk to someone about it. Express your feelings and emotions to them. They can provide a different perspective, a shoulder to lean on, or even just some advice. You've now just spoken to someone about it. Now it's time to listen. Number four, listening. Listen to someone about it. They could give you some advice, but this can't be just anyone. They have to have your best interest at heart. For instance, my mom told me to go to Portugal, telling me that I'd have such a great time and I'd be very safe. And I listened to her. And guess what? She was right because I had such a great time because she had my best interest at heart. Number five. Reframe fear. This is where you allow yourself to think about your fear in an opposite way. 
You might see your fear as something scary that makes you want to cry and tremble and hide. But what if you see your fear as something new, exciting, and challenging? Remember, you're only thinking about the worst case scenarios. But what about the best? Number six, imperfection is okay. You might think strong individuals don't struggle. But this is far from the truth. Everyone, regardless of their strength, has their own struggles and issues to deal with. So when you're tackling your fear, don't worry about being perfect. Instead, it's okay to stumble, as long as you pick yourself up and keep going. Number seven, take care of yourself. Taking care of yourself is a very important step to face your fear, as living a healthy lifestyle can be in many different ways. Exercise, getting more sleep, or even just maintaining a healthy diet. When you feel healthier, you feel more ready to conquer your fear. Like how I personally feel that this gives me a boost of confidence and makes me feel more ready. Now number eight, start small. When I say you should go for your fear, please go for it, please. But I don't mean by go for your fear immediately, I mean start small. Basically, you think of something easier to start with, something smaller, something similar. It's like a staircase. You go up and up and up until you reach it to the last step. Now, number nine, prepare. Preparing yourself is a crucial step, as once you're mentally ready and physically ready on the inside, you feel more ready to conquer your fear. However, don't rush this process. Ensure you feel ready before you try and take the leap. Now, number 10, celebrate success. After you face your fear, congratulations, you've done it. Give yourself a pat on the back for your courage. Reward yourself with something you enjoy. This could be a nice meal, a sweet treat, or even just some time to relax. You've earned it. And remember, facing your fears is a personal journey that requires patience, courage, and self-love. You're capable of more than you know. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your full potential. Thank you.